I watch social media and I feel confused. I'm like, what the hell is this? So what I do, I go straight to real science. And I try to ask people that have devoted their life with no prejudice, no agenda to finding answers. Sometimes scientists, by the way, are very biased. So I try to find unbiased scientists. I asked a very prominent scientist, what is the personality traits and habits most associated with money? What do you think they said? Introverted, what else? Neurotic, consistent, okay. Look where your money spent, conscientiousness, sensation, risk taking. So extroversion is a controversial one. There's some science that shows extroverts make more money and some that introverts make. So you know what that means to me? If there's half the science says one or the other, what does that probably mean? It ain't important. So extroverts or and introverts both figure out how to make money. Elon Musk, an introvert slash, he's an ambivert probably, a little more introverted, but Larry Ellison is more of an introvert. Who here has ever seen any interviews with Larry Ellison? He's like been the fifth richest man in the world for like 20 years. He's crushing the world, but he doesn't like to be known. Um, so extrovert, introvert, I think is not that important. Here's one. You know what he said, one of them. And this one gets super confused on social media. Do, do you know what the danger right now with social media is? The influencers that I see, they're 80% right, 20% dead wrong, but you don't know which 20 it is. Here's an example of the dead wrong. What's something you hear at social media influencers saying is super important to become wealthy? Hard work, hard work hustle. This is a, the most dangerous thing you can ever hear because I always went, well, if that was true, who's the hardest working people? It's like single moms or single dads. My mom had like two jobs. My friend mom had three jobs. She wasn't going nowhere with money. My mom made like 12 grand a year when I was a little kid, I remember. Okay, it, it, she was working hard, Bill Gates. So what's the other, what's better than this? Smart is better. But I had a scientist tell me something. I used to always say, you can't outwork your problems, you have to outthink them. I posted that to Twitter recently. A lot of people resonated with that message. But now I have an even better thing. Cause it's kind of true that you need to work hard. Does everybody, it's like, it's not super against your intuition that you gotta work hard. But it's also part of your intuition that the billionaires don't work harder. So the top 10 billionaire men are worth as much as the bottom 4 billion. You don't think they're outworking 4 billion people, right? So what is another word that's better than all of these? Inspired, maybe you're getting warmer. But specifically related to hard work, this is the truth. That's the actual science. You should write that down. You can now inform everybody who's confused on social media the real truth. Dr. Buss, you guys like Jordan Peterson? You know who Jordan Peterson looks up to? You know who his mentor is? My mentor, Dr. Buss. Jordan Peterson just had him on. He's like, I've learned more from you than anyone alive. Dr. Buss is a whole nother level from anybody. Even Jordan Peterson says, Jordan Peterson says, if you look at the credentials of Dr. Buss, he has a hundred PhDs by citations. So he's the, I, I listen more to Dr. Buss. He said his science, high energy. Now let's think about how this works. So hard work is like you get in, you're answering all your emails, you're making phone call. Can't you intuitively see where that wouldn't always make you super rich? Like you could be making the wrong phone calls. You could be stuck in busy work, but this, is the magic. Who here struggles with energy levels? Physical energy. You got to fix that, my friend. There, and this is true. I've never, the one consistent physical attribute of highly wealthy people is they have wacky levels of energy. In fact, people who shadow me, like Phil, he, he's worked for me for a while, but he hasn't traveled with me or Itzel. I ask people, what do you notice about me? And they're like, you're never tired. High energy, you got to work on your energy. And that's going back. We're going to do the 150 body, a little bit of workout. You got to work out. You have to. Unless you think you're smarter than all science in the world, you cannot have high energy levels. Now, you might say, well, what about a guy like Elon Musk? He doesn't have great health. He is a genetic freak of nature. Don't ever, that's like me saying, well, somebody's like, you need to practice your jumping if you want to dunk, Ty. Well, what about Shaquille? Ah, you ain't Shaquille, Ty. He's seven foot two. The guy can go, he can dunk, or I have a friend who played for the Lakers. He can basically dunk on his tippy toes. JaVel McGee, he's seven foot. I was just talking to him yesterday, actually. So you, what people do wrong is they go, well, I, uh, Elon Musk doesn't work out and he's the richest man in the world. That's a genetic freak of nature that you cannot replicate. You cannot. It's dangerous. You're literally replicating Shaquille O'Neal's height and saying, well, he didn't have to practice. If you are a regular height dude and you want to dunk, you better 
Have you ever seen these videos now on guys practicing all their, that go from not being able to dunk to dunk? You can literally increase your vertical by like 15 inch. Even Michael Jordan increased his vertical almost 10 inches. So high energy, if you don't have it, you're not gonna think deeply. You're not, every single thing you all said when I asked for this, all comes down to energy levels. So who's using a lot of caffeine? I think in 150 body should not need more than 150 milligrams of caffeine a day. Write that down. Some some of the, like the Gracies, Hori and Gracie, he invented the UFC and his father invented Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I just, he's one of my mentors. He does no caffeine. He's like, Ty, I'm 70. He just got his body age, his actual chronological age is 71. He's got, he basically broke the machines. He had a 45 year old body. And if you see him, it's not bullshit. You're like, this dude is young. So you shouldn't need too much caffeine, but you need 150 minutes of deep sleep, 100 to 150. It will, and you also need REM sleep. But REM's easier to get, high energy. Okay, so Bravo7 here, bank account. What's the, so this is number one to creating wealth, scientifically. Meaning, if you don't have this, you don't pass go. It's not gonna happen. Now you might be able to make 100 grand or 500 grand, but people who make extra levels of wealth have wacky levels of energy. I've seen, you know Mark Cuban? He, it's funny, he answers every email anybody ever sends him. I'm not joking. I thought when he told me that, I was joking. If you email, he might just email back one word, but he, ain't, I mean, I'm like, holy shit. You know how many emails he might get? He has high energy. What's the second most important? Once you have high energy, what's the second most important thing? Somebody said, organized, organized, organized. Don't think, who here has ever bought into the lie that like, yo, I'm just like, I'm not a, organized person, I'm gonna find other people that just organize me, I'm all over the place, I'm a creative genius. Who's ever lied to themselves about that? <laughs> Come on now. It's the ultimate, it's not true. There's no data on that. Name a super sloppy person who's wealthy. Just let's see. Maybe I know him, maybe I don't. Who's the wealthiest people in the world? Who's number one right now? Elon Musk. He's an engineer. He's making spaceships. Do you think he makes a spaceship by drawing sloppily? Like, oh, I want you guys to make me a, uh, uh, make me a rocket ship. I want it to be pointy with us. Uh, and then I'm gonna hire other people. No, the dude's in there looking at millimeter. You ever seen a Tesla? Does it look like that was made by a sloppy person? He's wacky levels of organized. You could call it conscientious, but let's just keep it organized. Who's the next richest person? Bernard Arnault. He owns Louis Vuitton. Retail, you can't be sloppy. It's a complicated business. You have to buy millions of units of clothing ahead of time. And if you buy too many and nobody sells them, you got a warehouse full of stuff. Louis Vuitton's e com uh, physical retail is one of the, you have to be the most, they have a whole department called planning. They literally sit there and run software. How many socks should we buy? How many Louis Vuitton purses? And he has like 60 retail companies. Who's the next rich person? Bill Gates. He's a software dude. Mark Zuckerberg, does he strike you as like a, oh, I'm all over the place, or like a nerd who sits there and diagrams code? He built code for, he was part of Facebook. So there's really no precedent. I haven't seen a sloppy person become extra wealthy before. So organize. So Bravo 7, we're gonna use seven minutes at the end of the morning routine. I'm glad everybody has a yellow notepad. That's good. Did we provide these? Good. My favorite. I love yellow ones because they like stand out. And I rate, read that when Bill Gates was a teenager, he rented a hotel room for seven days, locked himself in with like seven notepads, wrote out the business plan for for Microsoft and became a billionaire before. He was the first kind of self-made billionaire kid. Now, my mom hates Bill Gates, so I'm not speaking to his moral compass, but the dude's organized. So what I wanna do, I haven't done this. Can I have a notepad? Oh, do I have one? Oh, here's one, good. What I like to do in seven minutes, I write out seven things that I wanna do. And I also, in the seven minutes, so let me make this easier. In seven minutes, I'll write out five things I wanna do that in five minutes. And then I spent two minutes entering it into my software. Who here has task management software already? Who doesn't? I use an app called Todoist. I should be an affiliate for it, but I'm not. So I'm not making any money telling you about this. T-O-D-O-I-S-T. But for now, who has Google Sheets? Okay, everybody open up Google Sheets. You should download the app. Everybody take a minute to download Google Sheets. On my, what do you see on my homepage? I got Google Sheets docs, to help you be organized. So we're gonna write out five things in five minutes and then the last two minutes, I want you to go into Google Sheets, add them. These are five things you're gonna do before in the, in the deep work session of three hours. We're not gonna do a full deep work session. Who, who's downloading Google Docs? Yeah, do Google Sheets, the green one, Sheets it's called. 
and you just open it up with your email address, like Gmail. So I'm, I'm gonna use Todoist, but you don't need to. You gotta spend two minutes a day crossing things off the list and adding them back. I like to write it here, but then I take two minutes to enter it into my phone, because sometimes I'll lose my notepad. Okay, I have 110 tasks in my Todoist, but they're spread over time. They're not all due now. Okay, I'm setting the timer now for seven minutes. I'll give you a heads up when it's five minutes. So just write on the notepad and think for a second. What are actually the five most high value money making things you can do today? What's five like they actually could make your bank account go up? So don't write on there, check email. I repeat, I've seen this error. You're not allowed to write general stuff. Don't write check email, check bank account. That's daily routine you should do anyway. I'm talking about high value money makers, okay? Good, so I'm starting. Let us begin. 